In this video, we'll discuss the Bayesian interpretation of differential privacy. Recall that a mechanism is epsilon delta differentially private if for any two databases x and y that differ on one entry, i.e. when x minus y in norm 1 is at most 1, and for any subset s of possible responses to the mechanism, we have the probability that m of y is in s is at most e to the epsilon times the probability that m of x is in s plus delta. An equivalent way of writing this is using conditional probability notations. Let us call R the response of the mechanism. Epsilon delta differential privacy boils down to x minus y in norm 1 at most 1 implies that the probability that the response is in S given the database y is at most e to the epsilon times the probability that R is in S given the database x plus delta. Now, we have seen in previous videos how to interpret delta. Roughly, it corresponds to saying that the probability distribution of R given Y should behave like some other random variable hat R under some event of high probability 1 minus delta, and that hat R is epsilon differentially private with respect to R given X. As a result, in this video, to simplify the analysis, we'll restrict ourselves to epsilon differentially private mechanisms, i.e. we'll restrict ourselves to the case where x minus 1 of norm 1 at most 1 implies that the probability that r is in s given y is at most e to the epsilon times the probability that r is in s given x. Now, this is all good and correct, but differential privacy shouldn't actually be about the probabilities of responses. Differential privacy should rather be about preserving the unknowability of the databases, and in particular, it should be about the fact that the response r does not give more information about the database than the information that the attacker already had before learning R. This means that the quantity an attacker is actually interested in is rather quantities like the probability of X given R, that is, what databases are likely given that the response of the mechanism is R. Bayes' rule allows to relate this quantity probability of X given R using the probability of R given X as follows the probability of x given r is equal to the probability of r given x times the probability of x divided by the probability of r, where the probability of x is the prior belief of the attacker on what the database may contain. Non-learnability given r means that the probability of x given r should be about the same as the probability of x, i.e. the posterior belief of the attacker has been mostly unchanged. Now, differential privacy actually rather cares about the difference of beliefs with respect to databases that only differ by the presence or absence of few users. This means that differential privacy actually asks whether an attacker will much better know a posteriori how much x is more likely than y, i.e. it attempts to bound the probability of x given r divided by the probability of y given r. Now, using Bayes' rule, this quantity can be related to the corresponding prior belief ratio. Indeed, probability of x given r divided by the probability of y given r is equal to the ratio of the probability of r given x by the probability of r given y times the ratio of the prior beliefs, that is, the probability of x divided by the probability of y. Finally, we see appearing the ratio of responses conditioned on databases, which epsilon differential privacy bounds by e to the epsilon. In fact, epsilon differential private mechanisms are precisely those that always guarantee that the posterior ratio of beliefs of neighbor databases never increase too much compared to the ratio of beliefs a priori. In gambling terms, this can be written as the odds of x to y given r is at most e to the epsilon times the odds of x to y. 